glitches are the very deeply personal buried memories of the risen that allow them to piece together the puzzles of their lives and their deaths. And we were always careful in designing the glitches that they weren't answers, they were questions. Oh my God. Who are you? What are you doing in my Mom? room? Mom? Dad! Mom! We call them glitches because that's our word for them because we always felt that they were like the synapses of the brain reconnecting again as memory returned. Hey Chi, prawns are hot. And what we were most interested in was that they're deeply personal and subjective. They're not objective, which is why we can kind of weave two time frames together and put objects from one time into another time because memory isn't logical. Memory is largely emotional. I think the glitches very much came from Emma's contribution to the, the creative vision of the show. I've always been interested in a merging of time and space, that it's not always a literal representation of what's happening. I mean, Charlie may see himself in the past in the same room he's in now in the present. There's no rules to the glitch in terms of the slippage of time. So I've always tried to avoid a traditional flashback idea, but more a sensory experience and moving from the past to the present. And flitches, which is a word that we again don't expect to enter <laughs> this common vernacular, we just use it in the show, was our word for future glitches. So it became a new challenge to explore the flitch and what would that be and what, it, what would it feel like and, and what would the visuals be um, associated to a flitch. So we experimented a lot with lensing, it's all in camera. It's a lot more erratic and uh, we experiment a lot more with focus. It was a very exciting experiment which I hope the audience enjoys.